Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and today's videos. The Swedish word of the day is gift, which is in Swedish gåva. Gåva. The reason for the Swedish word of the day is because I got gifted this beautiful palette. My friend Jessica here on YouTube, you guys know her as Stars Hollywood Jessica. She, I don't know if she wants me to go into detail, so I'm not going to, but the end result, she gifted me this one. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina collection. This is the Mini Pro Pigment Palette Volume 2. And I'm just gonna show it to you. You can see that the yellow is a little bit cracked. Does that matter? Absolutely not. And I'm actually gonna do a palette bingo with this palette. Never done a palette bingo before. Why? Because I freaking hate it. I'm a control freak. So I'm gonna challenge myself. Every time I've gotten a question to do a palette bingo, I've been like, yeah, maybe one day, knowing that I'm not going to. But let's see how you guys like it. I'm going to put up this random shit. So this is number one and then, you know, three, four to six, seven to nine. So we're going in that direction. And I've not used this, this is brand new. So. One to nine, let's see. I don't know, you're not in focus, but let's see here. Two, which is this middle green one. Let's do it again. We're gonna pick five colors. Eight, yes, that's the one I wanted. This one, let me swatch them perhaps. Ooh, wow. Okay, be careful. I went in pretty heavy handed with a green shimmer. So here is number eight two and then number eight number four which is this beautiful orange number eight so we're gonna do it again number two so we're gonna do it again number four so we're gonna do it again number three which is this one. Oh, sorry, I swatched it on my own <laughs> and the last color is number six just yes! I wanted to get one of the deeper colors as well. So this is number six. Swatched it again off, but okay. So this is what we're working with. We have green, we have orange, and we have one shimmer. So I'm actually pretty satisfied with this. I feel like I can do a look. So let me just wipe this off and we'll get started. So I've been sitting here thinking and thinking and thinking of what to do. So I'm just gonna start because I need to. I'm pretty sure that in Palette Bingo you can use other colors as well. So I'm actually gonna start off with this yellowy shade, which is just called A1. So I'm just gonna start putting it like right here. And it's pretty pale. It's pretty dusty. Okay, now I'm gonna hop into my first color that we got in the palette bingo, and it's this one that is just right next to it. So I'm actually gonna do like a cut crease, like an all matte, and then the shimmer I'm gonna have in my inner corner. So I think that can be pretty cool, but we'll see, <laughs> because you never know. So I have to ask you guys about a documentary that I've seen on Netflix. You have probably heard about it. I had never heard about it. And this is about, um, the, the documentary is called The Devil Next Door. So it's about a man called John Dim Dimyamjuk. I'm so sorry, I cannot pronounce it. But he was a man living in um, America. I think it was from, oh my God, Ukraine in the beginning. I'm not sure actually but he was uh, accused of being, during the World War II, um, Ivan the Terrible, who basically served in Treblinka, and that was very, very terrible to the people that was going into the gas chambers. Now I'm just gonna take this green one, so the deepest green. So they basically stated that he was this horrible guy. He did horrible things, even if this guy is Ivan the Terrible or not. He did horrible things. So yeah, he was accused of being someone that they called Ivan the Terrible in Treblinka. And this Ivan the Terrible, he could, um, while people were walking into the gas chambers, I mean, just imagine that, it has to be terrifying enough. He could pick out a woman and then cut her breasts off with 
some sort of sword because he thought, I don't know, maybe he thought it was funny. Maybe he was like a sociopath or something. It's just like insane. Like this guy definitely needs to get caught. Usually when I watch a documentary, I'm like, okay, this is how it is. With this documentary though, I have switched back and forth so many times. It's insane. So now I'm just gonna take my little, is this from Sigma or Morphe? Morphe? My Morphe, um, oh, the print is gone, but 552 or 652, I can't really remember. So I've switched so many times. I've been like, yes, this is the guy, like he is guilty. And then other times I've been like, no, this is not the guy. They have the wrong person. He's not guilty. You kind of have to see the documentary yourself to make up your own mind. But I really want to hear from you guys, like, what do you think? What do you, have you seen it? And if you have, do you think he's guilty? I'm actually watching, like, the end of the documentary. I have about the last episode. It's just, like, four episodes, I think. It's five episodes, and I have... 18 minutes left. So now anyway, I'm just blending this out to make it not like streaky and such. That's not really my vibe. So I'm just trying to blend this out. I have taken a bit of like the yellow and a little bit of the green, but I'm just tapping in because I just want it to fade a little bit so we don't have just like a streak. The problem is that I kind of think that I need to cut my crease and this kind of looks ridiculous. I think that I'm not going to. I think I'm going to take a little bit more of the deeper green and just add it on down to here. So I feel like this eye look isn't gonna come together until we're done. So I'm actually going to just cut my crease and you've seen me do that so many times and then I'm going to get some coffee and I'll be right back. Probably need to walk my dog soon because it feels like he's kind of waking up now. Funny story, when we got him, the first thing I did was to walk him. Now he's so tired, he does not wanna wake up. So I let him sleep if I have the time. Now we're taking this color and we're gonna take this closest in and it's important like I've used concealer to just um, cut my crease and it's important to make it smooth because if uh, if it's not smooth and even it's going to patchy okay so just tapping this I have to say that these shadows are super pigmented and they are not like the normal ABH formula but they seem to be like really, really smooth, really, really soft and very, very pigmented. Obviously this is over a wet base, but still. Now we're gonna take this color, color, and I'm kind of just patting it. Like tap, 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 tap. Maybe we want a little bit more of this actually. Tap, 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 tap. I've done so many boring looks, if you will a little bit more toned down so today i think we're gonna do like it all lashes color i might have to go in with a black because green and orange is not gonna mix it's gonna be become this off um brownish gray color and that's not the color's fault it's just like those colors doesn't really mesh so I might have to go in with a little bit of black to just make it uh, a little bit more cohesive. So I'm taking the green, the deepest green, as I said, and we're just gonna pat this over. Maybe we don't need a black. I actually don't think that we need that. So now I'm gonna take the shimmer and just, uh, you can't even see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna pick it up and then apply it to my inner corner. Oh, that's pretty. That's very, very pretty, actually. And I'd like to go on top of the lid just a little bit. I always do that. Uh, I think that it becomes one with the look. I'm taking a little bit more of this orange, the deepest one, and just kind of blending it in with the other one. I feel like I want this to dominate a little bit more. 
that's all I'm gonna do for now. So I am going to walk my dog, eat some breakfast, and finish up my face, and then we can do the under eyes. So I'll be back in like two hours. So I think for under eyes, we're just gonna keep it pretty simple. I'm gonna dip into this deep green. I'm just doing this in a small little brush. And then I'm going to just take this under my eyes. Hopefully you can see me. <laughs> I know I didn't zoom in, but we're just doing the under eyes. This is basically gonna take a minute. And we also need to like intensify the inner corner shade because it kind of went away a little bit when I applied my concealer and so on. Taking the middle shade right here. They're pretty dusty actually, so be gentle if you have purchased these palettes. These palettes, from my understanding, are only available at ABH own website. And the UK website, I get comments about this all the time when I say that, oh, this product isn't gonna come to Europe or whatever it is. And people are like, why won't you buy from the UK website? Well, they don't ship to Sweden. Why uh, beats me? But we have to purchase from the US website. So Jessica actually purchased these on the UK website. No, on the um, American website, the US website. She purchased this and the first palette. So if you wanted one of those, then go to that website. Hopefully they will kind of come to other places as well. So the last thing is to take the green and take it in our inner corner. And we're done. So I'm just gonna do my mascara and lips and be right back. This is how my makeup turned out. I hate the lashes, I wanna rip them off, which I'm probably going to after I have recorded, I'm gonna record a little bit more, I'm gonna record another video after this, but I will probably rip them off, off after that. But I got powder in my lashes, so um, I painted them a little bit with mascara and it's not well. Palette bingo. Oh, it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite at all. It's fun. Would I have done this look? Probably not. If I didn't do a palette bingo, it's definitely fun, but it isn't my my favorite thing. I like to dip into the colors that I like to, and I feel like I'm creative enough, but now I've been in kind of a like a creative rut, so maybe it's a perfect time to do palette bingos. Do you ever do palette bingos? I'm talking to you guys that doesn't do YouTube, but just do your makeup like a normal person. Do you do palette bingo with yourself or something? Let me know. It's really, really fun to, um, to know a little bit more about you and your makeup routine. But I thought that I would just talk a little bit about the palette before ending this video, because this is a first impression. First and foremost, I'm gonna talk about the shimmer <laughs> because I've only used one. So the shimmer was very, very more loosely than I thought, so be gentle when dipping in. I can be very heavy-handed with my shimmers, but definitely be a little bit more um, light on the hand. I will try that in the near future. I think that the shadow is really, really cute. Um, it has some sort of like glitterness to it which is really really beautiful i really want to take this color and kind of just slap it on my lid i kind of want to dig into these two maybe this like orange and purple and maybe this little bit more cool tone brown to do a look i think that could be very much fun um the mattes i have to say is good they are not like the normal abh shadows but i feel like in the riviera palette there were some neon shades and i've said before that I had a problem with the purple not sticking and falling off. Some of you guys commented and said that the purple, purple um, was perfect and some of the other ones said that you had the same experience as me. So, you know, it's different for every person. Definitely don't take my reviews as like the one all be all or whatever you Americans say or... But I think that this seems to be an improvement. I definitely think that this seems to be a much more 
easy palette to work with it does still contain kick up but if you are known to abh shadows all of them contain kick up and i actually really like how small it is and i think that this for like fall no for spring is gonna be really really cute and i think it's a very very easy palette i would definitely now i don't go out traveling but if i did i would definitely take this and maybe i don't have that palette but maybe like the dose of color um, baked browns or sassy siennas and then like pa pair with this or another neutral palette and pa pair with this if you want to add it up or uh, take it down a little bit i mean you do have your purples greens and oranges and yellows um having said that i think that this is a good palette if i would have purchased it maybe i would have maybe purchased one of these minis actually and i would have purchased this out of the two minis but now i have such an amazing friend so i just didn't need to so yeah thank you so much to jessica please she is actually now that i'm filming this so close to hitting 2k she's like 200 away so it would be really really nice if we kind of just bumped her up and also be kind she's such a fragile soul like me so give her some love because she deserves that thank you so much Jessica and thank you so much for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you did not enjoy this video give it a thumbs down let me know how you feel about me doing palette bingos and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>